Welcome back to the cruise world. Today we are taking a walkthrough tour of the Norwegian Breakaway. Whether you're already booked or looking for the perfect ship, we've got you covered with ship and room tours, vlogs, tips, parodies, and a whole lot more. So if you love cruising, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell turned on. The NCL Breakaway was built by Meyer Werft in Papenburg, Germany and launched in 2013. She has a tonnage of 145,000 with 18 decks and a capacity for 3,963 passengers and 1,657 crew members. Today's tour is going to focus on the public areas of the breakaway, so we'll skip past Deck 5, which is home to the medical center and state rooms, and that brings us to Deck 6 forward, where we find the Spiegel Tent. This is a multi-purpose space that used to be home to the Cirque du Soleil and the Velvet Dinner Show, but as of early 2023, we only saw it used for the bamboozled escape game. Moving along down the starboard side of the ship, we head down this hallway where you'll find the library and card room, as well as a couple of meeting rooms and the Perspectives Photography Studio. And now we're entering the impressive atrium area that extends up to Deck 7. And before we get to the atrium bar, right here on our left is Starbucks, where you can get all your favorites that you know and love. Here at the atrium bar, you can grab some cocktails while you enjoy the multitude of events that happen here in this area. And continuing over to the port side is where you'll find the shore excursions and cruise next desks, as well as guest services. Continuing on, we enter the Collections Art Gallery. And while on board, you can attend a live art auction hosted by Park West Gallery and sip some champagne while bidding on some beautiful works of art. Here on the left is Le Bistro, Breakaway's French restaurant. And on our right is Headliners Comedy Club, which is also home to one of our personal favorites, the Howl at the Moon Dueling Piano Bar. Continuing on, you'll find the Teppanyaki restaurant on the starboard side, which is always a fun and delicious time. And we'll zoom right past some more artwork on our way to the Mix Bar. Now, this is a great meeting place for a drink before you grab a meal at one of the two restaurants located here, Taste and Savor. Both of these restaurants feature the same daily menu as the main dining area, the Manhattan Room, which we'll get to in just a minute. And that's it for Deck 6, other than this cute little sitting area that many cruisers use for a photo op. As we move up to Deck 7 aft, as promised, we have the Manhattan Room with an Art Deco style reminiscent of a glamorous supper club complete with live music. Moving forward, we approach the Breakaway Casino, but first, nestled here on our right is Shanghai's Noodle Bar. And on our left is Bar 21, where you can grab a drink without straying too far from your favorite slots and table games here in the casino. Just a little further up and also on our left is the Bliss Ultra Lounge, which doubles as an activity space during the day and a hip dance club at night. We continue moving through the casino area, which as you can see has a ton of different slot and table game options. And while there might not be late night pizza here on the breakaway, you can get late night pretzel bites, burgers, and other snacks here at Ocean's Bar and Grill, which is open 24 hours a day. In addition to the dining, this is a very popular bar where you can hang out with friends, check out the action below in the atrium, or challenge your friends to a game of pool, air hockey, or even bowling. Here at the forward of Deck 7 is the box office where you can book all your shows, and this is also the home to Breakaway Theater where you can see amazing shows like Burn the Floor and Six. Up to Deck 8, moving from the forward to the rear, first up on the port side is La Cucina. This is where you can enjoy Italian classics like pasta carbonara along with freshly baked artisan farm bread. And on our left is the popular hangout spot Sid Norman's Poor House where you can grab a cocktail and listen to some great music every night. And next up on the starboard side is Malting's Beer and Whiskey Bar. If you enjoy a good cigar, then you also need to check out the Humidor Cigar Lounge that's tucked right back here in the corner. If you like what you're seeing here on the NCL Breakaway and you're interested in booking a cruise or just want more information, email us at thecruiseworldtravel at gmail.com. We'd love to help you plan your next dream vacation. 
As we approach midship, there are great open views to the decks below, and here on our right is the Sky Vodka Ice Bar. Grab a coat and gloves and enjoy some ice-cold cocktails in this truly unique bar. Shaker's Martini Bar is just outside the ice bar, and they make some amazing cocktails. And continuing around, we come to Ocean Blue Wasabi and the Raw Bar, which is a great option for seafood lovers. Be sure to check out all the ship tours, vlogs, and other cruise videos on the channel, and being subscribed with the notification bell on will notify you when we post new videos. Now we're entering what I like to call the shopping district, where you'll find the photo gallery, the Trade Winds duty free shops, watches, jewelry, perfumes, and more. Coming to the aft of Deck 8, we're passing the Bake Shop, which is on our left, but we'll come back to that in just a minute because we're entering Cagney Steakhouse and Moderno. Now, if you're a steak lover, you have to check out these two restaurants during your cruise. As promised, we're going to pop back out to the Bake Shop, and this is where you can grab some gourmet cupcakes or even some gelato. And another cool thing about the venues here on Deck 8 is that they all have waterfront seating right here on the outer deck. Decks 9 through 14 are comprised of staterooms, except the space on Decks 12 and 13 midship, which is home to Splash Academy. This is NCL's complimentary kids club for kids ages 3 to 12. This is a space where they can come to play, learn, and have fun with other kids while you do, well, whatever you want. Up to deck 15, we're going to start here at the aft of the ship in the Garden Cafe, or as most people refer to it, the buffet. And I've got to tell you, during our week here on board the breakaway, we saw a ton of different food options offered here, and we were very pleased with the quality of the food. The cafe runs down both sides of the ship, and as we reach the open air portion, over on the port side, there's the Garden Cafe bar, where you can grab fresh squeezed juices and other premium drinks. And now for the adventure seekers, we're getting our first glimpse of the Aqua Park, which was in fact the first ever at sea. She features five multi-story slides, including the whip and the free fall. Right around the corner, there's also a pool and a splash park for the kids. Continuing forward, we enter the marketplace and the main pool area, which features two bars, four whirlpool spas, a stage, and a dance floor. Heading back inside here on deck 15 forward is where you'll find the fitness center, which features separate areas for cardio and weight training, as well as the salon, barbershop, and the spa and thermal suites. Deck 16 forward is home to the Haven, which is an exclusive enclave accessible only by keycard to Haven guests. We've put a link down in the description if you'd like more information on the Haven's exclusive amenities. And as we continue moving towards the aft here on the sun deck, you'll get another great view of the aqua park as we move around the jogging track to the port side of the ship. Now we've arrived at the American Diner, which is an upcharged dining venue where you can get great appetizers, burgers, and desserts. And right next to the diner is the arcade that is full of fun games. Just before we get to the rear of deck 16, here on the port side is the Entourage Teen Lounge. This is where kids ages 13 to 17 can meet new friends and hang out in a space all their own. And finally, here at the aft of Deck 16 is Spice H2O, featuring a full bar, big screen, hot tubs, a water feature, and plenty of room to lay in the sun or dance the night away once the sun goes down. Deck 
Deck 17 aft is where you'll find the expansive ropes course that features a walkout plank and a zip line. And Deck 17 forward is home to the public sun deck as well as the Haven private sun deck, a bar, and the Vibe Beach Club. And finally, moving up to Deck 18 is the Freestyle Sun Deck, which, as you can see, uh, was not getting much use during our week here on board the NCL Breakaway. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the Norwegian Breakaway. If you've sailed on this amazing ship, let us know what your favorite things are down in the comments. And if you're interested in booking Breakaway or any other cruise ship, email us at thecruiseworldtravel at gmail.com. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, and next up, check out our tour of the biggest cruise ship in the world, Wonder of the Seas. As always, remember, life is short and cruising is fun. We'll see you soon.